Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody tonight sent me this uh, piece of clip art that they wanted to engrave. And as you can see, the whole thing is filled in with either black or white. And if you've watched enough of my videos, you know that I do the yellow box trick. So all you have to do is click on the item, object, clip art, and convert it to a bitmap. Set it to black and white. There's the clip art. And then go to trace. And some, if you if your trace isn't here, your trace will be underneath here. I'm going to do an outline trace. And about 95% of the time, I use clip art because it works the best for me. Uh, there's not much difference in most of them. They're just some details. So like this clip art is going to have a lot of detail. Now, at first I thought, you know, that's not going to be very good. Now your your new copy will be on top. And actually it's pretty good. So let's move this out of the way. Let's zoom in here. So now everything that is white is going to engrave white. Everything that's black is going to engrave black. And if you don't understand that a lot of times white will engrave just a little bit. So all we have to do on this particular one is make all the white black and then make some decisions. So we're going to take our image and we're going to ungroup it. Then each piece is not there anymore. So then all you have to do is just make them black. And it sounds easy and it is easy. You just got to be thinking what all you want black and what all you want white. So you've already got some black circles up here. So on these, we just want to delete the white circles. Looks pretty good. That O, that circle up top would need to be cleaned up. Actually, it didn't trace that good. Uh, but you're going to get the idea. You could go back and clean all that up. And then just make all these black. And the little hash marks will be not engraved. There's actually one right there. And right there. Now the numbers are going to make it a little more difficult. Let's see what the moon or the sun does. That looks pretty good. Take away his eyeballs. Now the numbers are going to be a little different because this is the zero part of the all these numbers or you can't just take them away. So let's just delete that. But we've taken away some of our scale. So we can't really do that. So we're going to have to make the numbers transparent. So what you can do Let's try this. Let's delete it. And now let's color fill that black. Delete the three. So what's going to happen, this is almost like reverse engraving. So we need to color fill the inside of that 15. Or that. And see, this is what we're getting at. But I, I can't do that until I've got all my numbers done. So let's make all our numbers disappear. And then fill in with your smart fill tool all the intersections of numbers. I think I've got them all. Now turn this black, turn this black, turn this black. And a lot of times it's better to just color them black instead of color filling as they are a, a complete object. And there you go. Let's take that box away. And that would engrave quite well. Anyway, hope it helped them a little bit. I've already sent him the file and he likes it. Uh, I need to write him back and tell him he needs to clean up a little bit. And this is very easily done. And what I would do is just completely just redraw these circles. You know, that's a 0.49, so I would just draw a point, 0.49 by 0.49, and 
and then um, change it to black change it to uh, about three points let's see a little bit too thick and it's a little bit too big but you can continuously play with this so let's make it a little bit now one thing you want to keep in mind and I've made plenty of videos on this you need to scale with object so that way if you think you've got this about the right size then when you scale it it'll still be the right size now that's point oh it's point four four so we're, we're dead on so now you you know you're gonna be able to get pretty much in the center just delete that and just move it to where it kind of looks good and then do the you could actually do this I'm grabbing the outside circle tell you what you could do is put your nudge factor at like five inches move this out of the way grab that circle and just delete it then take this put it back to five inches with your arrow keys make you a duplicate control D bring it in and it goes right there in the center and then you could continuously cl clean this up and it wouldn't really take that long a lot of times it's almost easier when it's filled in and when it's not but you just take your take your shape tool and just start deleting some nodes so it looks better looks a little cleaner there you go i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching